Hey guys, D-Mike here, hello and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin. Just the original, number one. Last time we were in the impact site, we were able to get apart, came to the Forest of Hope and grabbed a couple more and met the yellow Pikmin. So today we're going to touch back down to the Forest of Hope and have a pretty explosive afternoon. So we'll see. This is obviously just my plan for um, day three. So we'll see how it goes. I kind of wing it when I play these games. I don't really have much of a plan. I don't really pre-play. Well, I cannot talk. But anyway, early on, it's easier to do this, of course. As you get further into the game, it's a lot trickier. But gather yourself 30 reds. Gather yourself 20 yellows. You'll see why in a moment. Once we have our full squad, unfortunately, the yellows are not flowered yet. So we'll need to get them up to speed. But you're, what you're going to want to do... Call off reds and yellows. Bring just your red boys over here to this body of water where this bridge is. And have your reds start hammering away. Grab your yellows. As we've seen, this game introduces the bomb rock. In the case of Pikmin 1, only yellows, of course. So we're going to have them grab the bomb rocks available in this can. It's not what you can't do, but what you can do. Here we go. And coming over here, you can see that there is a very um, nice shortcut here. We're going to blow up our back door, as I always do, usually before work every day. It's going to take exactly three of those bomb rocks. And then we're going to grab just a, a couple of other Pikmin. And there's a baby bull borb and a mama bull borb here. And if you land it just on top or not, you should be able to kill it with our little squad here, with Olimar's help, of course. And then with whatever Pikmin you have that aren't going to be used to throw bomb rocks, go ahead and start having them work on this pellet. Sounds like our reds have built the bridge to Terabithia. Here we go. What a sad book. Okay, so we're gonna have everybody else come up here and they are going to fall in line with this pellet. These two Pikmin, these bomb rock Pikmin, are we blowing up a bridge? Viewers, what do you think? Uh, no. We're blowing up creatures. Oh, yeah. So she's mad. She's hopping mad. We got one more bomb rock to go. So we're going to make sure we use it wisely. She's going to gain health, though, so you got to be quick. Um, if you throw your yellow Pikmin in the area. Okay. Should murder her. Oh, it didn't. It didn't it didn't do it, viewers. I will punch her bottom for justice until she dies. Can I kill her myself? Yes. The only downside to doing it that way, which was kind of stupid, is that now I have to grab another yellow because I only had an exact amount, which is smart. That's how you should play this game. That's okay. So now with the plus one, the final yellow, if we swing it around town over here, should be enough to <laughs> kind of smash it into that. Oops, sorry. All right, so this next maneuver is probably going to result in me losing some Pikmin, but it is one that I saw that was cool, that is tough to do, especially if you are stupid like me. So here we go. Switch to vertical camera angle and begin launching yourself in the water. Call your Pikmin as fast as you can over to this little spot here. Let's get them over here quickly, quickly, quickly. In, 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 in. Everybody, all right. So I don't know how I lost that many. I think I, I thought I was calling the majority of the crew, but get up there. Yeah, this is a mess. This is really tough to manage, but if you do it right, which I did not, um, you can have a small outcropping of Pikmin. I just killed a bunch of reds. Um, to start building this bridge. So this is a bit of a shortcut. Uh, I did not do that very gracefully, but that's okay. Um, the point is proven. So if you do it right, you probably have to still keep calling them. I think I killed about half of those Pikmin. That's okay. So now that we have a split squad, I'm going to get more of these reds. And this is more, um, it's going to be twofold here with the reds. So... I'm going to use the the reds that have not uh, 
been brutally drowned to do two things. Some of them are going to carry Mama Bulborb right here. Of course. I think I only need ten of you. Yeah. One more should do it, and then the rest are going to come over here. And they're going to tear down this wall. So this creates more of a... Um, more of an overworld expansion that you'll need, which is nice. And then here, you can gather your yellow Pikmin. This should be enough on its own. I don't know. I don't really need the extra 20. Um, but it is kind of annoying how slow they are. So I'm going to actually take a moment here and see if I can nectar these boys up. Because we're actually going to be... Um, I mean, everybody can have some. I'm okay with that. What is this? Socialism? Okay. So... That should be good. We're going to come back here. Having flowered Pikmin, obviously, as you can see, is much nicer. And uh, this is going to take a while. So the reds that are left, okay. You guys are very aggressive. Um, we'll have everybody basically work together to try to knock this wall down. And then over here, you head back here. We're going to try to actually be careful. No, stop it. Stop it. There are sheer, sheer grubs, which are really annoying. Um, so you're going to want to have your yellows come here. And whichever ones don't have bomb rocks, of course, there is more here. So we're going to... Um, oh yeah, by the way, this is just going to be... Today's episode is just going to be this area. So hopefully you're used to it. All right. So... We do have sheer grubs that are in the way, that are very annoying. The um, the purple ones are the ones that are the female ones that are the dangerous kind. You should be able to kill all of them pretty easily. Um, the other ones are the male kind. They are harmless, I think. So you're just going to want to kill the purple kind because they will eat your Pikmin, as you can see. So that's great. Um, we don't really need our yellows to do anything so they can Carry back the corpses if they want to. Just trying to clear out this area a little bit. Um, I'm okay with that. Always propagating Pikmin in, in bulk early is nice. But I do need these Pikmin. Specifically. Actually, I might come back here real quick and try to kill these guys. Because um, anything that gets in the way of what I'm about to do will ruin the process. And it's very annoying. That ding -a -ling shows that it's halftime in the day. There we go. Okay, that should be good enough. Um, now that we have these Pikmin, I believe you need every single one of these. So I'm just going to throw two of them at a time. Just, or just one at a time. Okay. I think you should be able to throw more than just one at a time, as far as I know. Depends on where you throw them, I guess. Maybe like my aim is off. Yeah, see, I just do three. I just dude three is what I said. I just dude three. All right. So I think one more, maybe? Yeah, you need every single one of those, so... Okay. We found another bar! It's the Extraordinary Bolt! I bought this incredible bolt because the salesman told me it's extraordinary! Exactly what makes it so extraordinary is a secret, but look at it! It's extraordinary! 100%. Captain Olimar has an eye for quality. Extraordinary quality. So now that we've opened up this area, we can have our reds, once again, can use some of them to propagate. Um, some of them to carry some of these guys. How many yellows do I have? Ooh, I need 22 of yous. Alright, don't get too far behind. Alright, so I have these guys carry this. Very cool. And then whoever's left over, uh, make yourself, uh, useful. Alright. Have you carry some stuff around. Very nice. So, not the cleanest way to do this, but, you know, it is what it is. So, we're going to grab the reds that I have left over. And I'm going to go back and grab that part from across the suicide bridge. Actually, it's probably more of like a homicide bridge because I definitely killed all of them. No, I don't want you to do that. Um, I think 18 should do it because I did have a handful over here. Oh, you're not done yet. Oh, boy. Yeah, this one takes a bit. Um, it's a downside. And that's probably why you bring more Pikmin and then you don't murder them in the way that I did. But that's just kind of like, oh, my gosh. You guys are very excited about that. I didn't tell any of you to do this. Not say any of you to do this. Follow directions. Do you remember that test that you take as a little kid viewers? Where, uh, well, one second, 
We're being interrupted here. We need to take care of this. Extraordinary Bolt. It's the kind of value that only a true connoisseur can understand. So there you go. So we are going to... Um, you know what, viewers? I'm going to go back to that thing I just said. You can... Uh, you'll have that test when you're a kid where the first question on the test, or the first like direction, I guess you should say, on the test was like, can you follow directions? If you are reading this carefully, put your pencil down and turn your paper upside down or whatever. And then, you know, you'd be like me who I get too excited and I wouldn't do any of that. And then I would do the full test and then it would turn out that I'm stupid and I don't know how to follow directions. So, you know, I got that going for me. I feel like getting two parts a day is probably a pretty good amount of progress. Um, Cause there's four areas. I don't know how many parts there are total 30. So, you know, two every day would have me finishing this in 15 days ish. I mean, you can only technically get the one part and then there's the one day that you can technically only get the other, uh, the other part and the impact site just being the one part by itself. Okay. Let's come over here and hopefully gather this shit part. Speedy quick. And now that the bridge is built, no more subjecting everybody to murder. Do we have enough Pikmin? Here we go. Sagittarius. My son gave this to me as a present. Brings to my visions of my son back on Hokotate. Yeah, I don't know. There are, um, there's a handful of items named after like horoscopes or constellations. I don't know exactly why or what that means, but it is what it is. I, I'm still blown away that there was somebody that I saw not too long ago who had finished this entire area in a day. Like that blew me away. It still does. Like it's just astounding to me. All right, so it looks like the game doesn't want me to do any more than two thirds. That's okay. Did a great job of uh, killing off all my Pikmin today. That was pretty slick. That's okay. I'm obviously not too upset about it because, you know, you'll build more, build more, grow more towards. This game is all about uh, trial and error. Definitely more on the error side. Let's grab our second ship part of the day. Beautiful. Boom. Oh. I think that's enough to make the ship upgraded, right? Sagittarius gift for my son is you very worried about me. Okay. We can increase the dolphin's capabilities and go to a different area if you choose. We viewers. We did it. It's so sparkly and new. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, there's not really anything else left that I want to do. So I'm just going to go... I'm just going to hit the wrong button and I'm just going to go to sunset. Pretty good day. Let's see how many of my reds I murdered in the water. Oh, I'm nervous. Viewers, I'm a maniac. A maniac for sure. Let's see how we did. I don't know if, if I can skip this. I don't really want to watch this. Okay. Three days since impact and now add yellow Pikmin. These creatures can wield bomb rocks. So there you go. Um, oh, it says you can swap Pikmin. I didn't know that. See, the buttons on this are a little tricky. Okay, so <laughs> I lost 21 reds today. As you can see, that little dip there is definitely from that moment. Um, oh, 21 total. So it might not have just been reds. That's okay. I think I actually wound up with one more red than I did before. So that's good. But we're ahead of the curve, obviously. Um, and... You have the option of going to the forest naval. I'm not doing that yet. I don't know if I'm going to beat all these areas off in order or um, or what, but you know, I like to keep it tidy. You can always go back when we when we need to. But I'm actually going to do one more day here, and then I think I will. Um, I'll spice it up. Don't worry. Don't worry, viewers. Maybe we'll go to the forest naval next time. Tickle that belly button. All right, so let's grab like a bunch of reds. Let's do 50 red. Because I know that um, in the relative close area, there is uh, there's some more parts to get, of course. I don't know if there's parts that require blues or not, but I know that with the area that we've opened up, I think that you can make yourself uh, in much better shape if you have... Uh, 
I don't know. I honestly don't even know where I was going with that with that thought. Um, so we cleared out this. Uh, there's probably a part right there. There it is. So we're gonna go ahead and kill this baby bull borb. Boop, dead. Okay. Now obviously, um, you can use bomb rocks and kill mama. And kill other baby bull borb first. Boop, dead. Got him. So another part right there. And then we are just going to just hammer this bottom right now. Oh yeah, get her. Mmm, get that bottom. It's actually kind of more of a, their backside, but that's okay. I think I lost one or two, that's fine. Um, we're gonna use the remaining Pikmin to, of course, get this part. The Nova Blaster, it emits a dazzling burst of light. Not sure about this, but the promotional brochure claims that its blast can travel in the currents of space-time. Okay, great. So, I think most parts in this game are gonna have um, like 20 to 30 Pikmin that you need to carry it. In this case, we're just smashing into that. And as you saw, we can walk through here, Whee! and it, it puts the 20 pellet back up actually. So that wouldn't be horrible to get. So what I'm gonna do actually, so we'll grab, let's grab 40 yellow because we still need to build them up. We only have, I think, 60 total. So we almost have a third more in the reds. So we're gonna grab half of this. Watch these guys do this for us. Grab and It's really nice that they respawn this for you so fast. And one more? Okay. And then here's a little sneaky sneaky that we're gonna do after we learn about the Nova Blaster. Whee! All right, Captain Olimar, what you got for us? This is a weapon of such incredible destructive force. Has a strange allure. Captain Olimar is a gun fetishist. All right, here we go. All right. So, coming over here. Uh, where is it? So, in the area that we just were with the big bull warb, after you abjectly murder these things, you'll find that... Uh, pro oh, there's a red over here that got stuck. Um, you'll find that this ledge is something that you can't climb, but you can throw your Pikmin up here. And viewers... Wouldn't you know it? You can bring it around town here in a moment. You do a little bit of walking. So this is something that you can do if you want to wait and conquer all the moist areas with your uh, blue Pikmin. But I don't have the patience for that. So I'm gonna come over here. I don't know if I actually threw enough Pikmin. Um, but if you come up this walkway, this is the area we just were. And your Pikmin should be able to, if they're being smart, We'll see. The shock absorber. It absorbs shocks. Counteracts the shaking and swaying that normally occurs during flight. Do we have enough? Nope, of course not. Viewers, why would we? Um, so in that case, I'm actually going to pop back around. See, you can tell that I don't plan this because I didn't even know that that's how many it took. Um, so I'm going to pop back around really quick. I did gather that first part really fast, though. So viewers, get off my back, all right? And it doesn't matter which Pikmin you have for this specific um, ask. I would like to just have primarily flower Pikmin just to speed up the process. Not that I'm in any rush. It's not a speed run. All right. So if you bring everybody around here, as you saw before, and I think I had like 20 something. So I don't really need a ton more. Um, but everybody else can just carry corpses. What's your job? Well, uh, you carry corpses today. Get over here. And as you can see, there is that wall that's in the back that is primarily only really accessible once you have blue Pikmin. There's probably a way around that, but I don't know what it is. And I'm not going to try it. So anyway, our reds can tear these down, work together, carry all this crap. It's all you mean to me. No, I'm just kidding. So, have everybody carry this back. It's a lot of reds being propagated, but once again, they are your best Pikmin. That is an objective fact. Anybody else is wrong. It's the best color as well, so... As I'm told. All right, so we're almost at the halfway point. I'm gonna go back up the ramp. And I think as long as my Pikmin don't botch this, this should work. Um, they should carry it down the ramp and not through the water because... Oh, where are you going? Why are you going this way? Is that the way that they were? Oh, that might be the way that they're programmed to go. Stop it. Oh, okay. That's not a big deal. I just need to uh, 
Are there bomb rocks up top too? Uh, I'm nervous. This is when you really wish you could have um, potions and stuff. Yeah, see, it wouldn't really be, you know what, it's good. I'm just going to attack the bottom with full force. Go. Attack her with your full might. All right, that's probably actually better than throwing them. I didn't know that. I've only been playing this game in its entirety uh, for a while. And so clearly, you know, you learn something new every day. So look here at that back. That's two parts today. And then I believe we'll have to come back eventually because we're going to get the, um, we will get blue Pikmin. Spoilers. But I know that's not the only place that we can go in this area. I'm gonna go ahead and put back the yellows. I don't need them, I don't think. Knowing my luck, I'm gonna run into another bombable wall. That's gonna make me immediately regret those words. Okay, so we got a mixed squad here. I don't know, nope, stop. See where the map is? Where else is there a part? So there's one back there. Uh, there's one all the way back there. I think I know the one that's back here. This one's, this one's treacherous. And I hope I have enough reds to accomplish this. Maybe. I think it's all the way back up here. Oop, interruptions. Game, I'm talking here. Stop it. All right, well, that's two parts for this one, so that's good. The shock absorber, nifty little device counteracts, shaking and swaying. Seven out of 30? Or is that one part today? I don't know. Okay, as you can see, we have um, two large bull borbs which I should hopefully be able to kill right here with these. Go. This might be enough reds. They're pretty formidable. Yeah, that's good. All right, so kill that one. Kill the baby that's hanging out on the caboose. Don't need it. Okay, well, this is going poorly. Go. All right, hit it. Let's go. It's not uh, really going as smoothly as I would have liked it to. Losing a lot of reds, of course. Keep attacking her. We are going to help out by punching her in the buns. This is not going swimmingly. Yeah, I'm definitely not having the self-preservation that I, oops, that I should, um, but that's okay. What makes this game fun is uh, just kind of being a little reckless or a lot reckless as you're seeing. I'm like losing this entire squad of reds. Oh my goodness. I'm just being a big old dumb dumb about it. All right, retreat. Yeah, she just had a big old snack. I'm sorry guys, oops. We can grow more, don't worry, I think. No, you can't, of course. Um, and where, okay. We're just gonna go back to the, uh, go, back, <laughs> go back to the onion and grab more reds. Yeah, this is just, you lose some and then you grow some. You lose some and you grow some. This is how you do it. That's what I'm saying because I'm bad at this game. All right, let's grab 56, sure. I'm going to put my yellows back. That actually would have been smart if I would have used the yellows to do the bomb rocks, but I didn't, so. Get off my back about it. Jeez. I just want reds. I want my attacking squad. We're getting revenge. Also, there's another part over there. So we'll need that. And if we do this right, we should hopefully be able to have time to grab a part, I think, before the day is done. So we're going to hang a Louie over here. Get it? All right, so... She's not recovered her health yet, which is good. Because she is getting murdered. Oh yeah, you're dead now, lady. Right. And so for the reds that we did kill, um, I don't know if I can throw them over the box or, I know there's a way to do this. Maybe. To be able to push this box out of the way. I think you're supposed to use blues. I think you can throw them on top of the box. Maybe. All right, let's try this. And then with the remaining reds, so I don't drown them this time, let's go ahead and have them uh, proliferate. So I did a great job of having them get murdered net last time. All right. So we've got these boys. I think I should be able to go up this side. No, can I go up this side? Am I allowed? 
Get me up there. Is this the game's way of saying that it doesn't want me to do this? There's probably like a cheat or something that you can do, like some sort of like a... Uh... Where does this lead to, though? That's what I'm curious about. Stop trying to force me. I want to get up there. Okay. Um, can I wait? Stop it. I'm trying to see if there's a way around. I think that it exclusively wants me to. I feel like. Yeah, this is probably one of those things where it's like you got to use your. But how do you get up there anyway? There's got to be a way. If I wonder if I like use my reds, can I, if I call them right away and push it, can you push right away? No, don't do that. Don't get up there. No, 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 stop it. Okay, well, that's not good. I'm just killing everybody all the time. I think I was on the right track. I should have been able to do that if I would have done it correctly. Um. Yeah, you know, we're just doing great, viewers. This is what you paid to see, right? Come on. I'm trying to be careful not whistle the ones that are up there because I don't want them to die too. I want to move this box at least. All right. Get over there. Get over there. Okay, I think you guys are dedicated to that. Where's my whistle at? There you go. Get over there. Push this box. Yes! Viewers, is working. Oh, just don't. Let's get up there. Come on. Uh, there's only one more. Only one more to save the day to push this box. Don't go in the water. No, you dummy. Oh, there's two of you in there now. You abject fools. But this would have probably made more sense if I would have used yellows. I could have probably thrown them over the box. I didn't think about that. Do I have time to do that? Can I at least push this box out of the way before I call it a quit? Maybe. Viewers, we're doing great. This is exactly how you're supposed to play this game. I'm trying to be fancy and like show off the cool things that I've learned, except for like the problem is I don't know how to do it very well. So got that going for me. All right. So I don't think I need very many yellows. I think it seemed like a couple. Yeah, you can probably do it that way. It would have made more sense. All right. So let's rush back, maybe. I just want to, I really want to push that box. Okay, come on boys, let's go. For victory. You should be able to just toss them over it, right? You'd think, they're yellows. Can you push it? You're just right there. You're just right there. Please. No. Don't call off. Don't call off the people that I have. Come on, yellows. Pay attention, please. No! Oh, viewers. Oh, uh, this does not go according to plan. <laughs> well, that's how you end a day. Not successfully. Oh my goodness. I usually try not to be such a goof about all of this, but yeah. Yikes, let's just go to sunset. This has been a disaster class. No, I said yes! Can't even talk. Oof, what a rough day. Can't always be successful, can we? Yikes! One of each ketchup and mustard to cheer us on as we brutally, uh... murder everything. All right, that's liftoff. Oh, I left a red out too. I am just failing left and right. Pigment that I not bring back to the onion all vanished. Maybe they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Very. Okay. So. That was bad. Not good. 
But hey, it is what it is. We have less reds. Oh, boy. All right. Well, you can't win them all. Uh, next time we'll be doing uh, going into a new area and hopefully not uh, brutally murdering my Pikmin. So thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Pikmin 1, and I'll see you next time. Bye.